Tommy Deerking, a judge, finds a local man guilty of kidnapping his neighbor and stuffing her into a pit. His name is Dennis Dunn, convicted now of two counts, but found not guilty of three other counts of abduction. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is covering the trial for us. She joins us live with reaction to this verdict. Anjanette? Well, Rob, Dennis Dunn's family and his lawyer are disappointed, but prosecutors, they got that guilty verdict that they wanted. Both sides agreed that Dennis Dunn is mentally ill, but they just disagree on whether or not that made him responsible for what he did. Dr. James Hawkins is a psychiatrist who interviewed Dennis Dunn about placing Jennifer Elliott in the hole in his shed. He had a mental illness. Um, methamphetamine made it worse. Dr. Hawkins said meth-induced psychosis made Dunn unable to appreciate his actions were wrong and that he was delusional that placing Elliot in the hole would protect her from a satanic cult and a prostitution ring. The state's expert agreed that Dunn is mentally ill but disagreed on the diagnosis and Dunn's level of responsibility. Did you also uh, reach an opinion regarding whether or not at the time of the offense to a reasonable degree of psychiatric or psychological certainty that uh, defendant Dunn uh, understood the wrongfulness of what he did that night. That was my opinion, yes. Dunn also presented a surprise witness, jail inmate Candy Hernandez, who was called to cast doubt on Elliot's testimony. Why are you testifying here today? Because my dad raised me to always tell the truth. Hernandez testified Elliot told her she was high on meth in the days before Dunn put her in the hole. And she's like, yeah, he put me in a hole in the back. Okay. Well, what was her demeanor at that time? She was high. But the prosecutor pointed out Elliot's drug test did not show methamphetamine. In the end, it wasn't enough to acquit Dennis Dunn on all charges. I don't find that the uh, defense has convinced me by a preponderance of the evidence. In fact, I'd suggest the other way. Uh, I think the state has presented sufficient criteria indicating that the defendant did appreciate the wrongfulness of his actions. Now, Judge Ruddick uh, found Dunn not guilty on those two counts of abduction. That's because those were sexually motivated crimes, and he said that the state didn't prove on th those counts that there was a sexual motivation there. Dunn is going to be sentenced next month. Reporting live in Wilmington, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Back to you. Anjanette, thanks very much. And when he is sentenced, Dunn faces three to ten years in prison.